Welcome back. This session is definitely the most referenced information of all the SUAS material. In this, we'll be discussing the operating limitations such as maximum speed, altitude, visibility requirements, clearance, and SUAS operations. Maximum ground speed of 87 knots or 100 miles per hour is an SUAS operational limitation, even for racing. All right, let's dive into SUAS altitude limitations. As the remote pilot in command, you need to remain under 400 feet AGL. There is one exception though, that's when you're within a 400 foot radius of a structure. You can fly up to the top of the structure, but no more than 400 feet above the structure. Here's a helpful tip. A standard US telephone pole is 40 feet, so times that by 10, that should give you an idea. Hopefully you don't have to rely on a useful tip like that, and just rely on your SUAS system to give you the altitude of the unmanned aircraft. All right, this example has a lot of information, so let's break it down. Here you can see the operating limitations of an SUAS, from the surface up to 400 feet AGL. Also take a look at the Class E airspace at 1200 feet. Notice how the structure extends into the Class E airspace at 1,200 feet. You as an SUAS operator can fly into that Class E airspace above the structure, but only within a 400 foot radius and 400 feet above that structure. On the right hand side, you see a no-fly zone. That's due to the cloud clearance restrictions. If you have a need to fly above 400 feet AGL, you'll need to fill out a certificate of waiver. This example is fairly straightforward. SUAS operational limitations are from the surface up to 400 feet AGL and 400 feet above a structure within a 400 foot radius. Another operational requirement is the minimum flight visibility. So, the minimum flight visibility, as observed from the location of the control station, may not be less than three statute miles. Remember that statute miles is used for visibility and nautical miles is used for measuring distance. Here are the minimum distance requirements from clouds. You cannot get any closer than 500 feet below a cloud. You cannot get any closer than 2,000 feet horizontally to a cloud. Here's something to consider as a remote pilot in command. Let's say a manned aircraft has a flight path through a cloud. You can't see it coming. The SUAS 500 and 2000 feet cloud clearance restrictions provides you a few seconds as a UA pilot to yield right of way. Basic operational limitations for small unmanned aircraft. There's a lot of information in this example, so pause when necessary. In this example, the unmanned aircraft will follow this general flight path. The speed limit for an unmanned aircraft is 87 knots or 100 miles per hour, and the visibility must be at least three statute miles from the person manipulating the controls. This line illustrates the operational limitations for altitude, which is 400 feet AGL. This line also demonstrates the altitude limitations around a structure, which is 400 feet above the structure within a 400 foot radius. Next, you can see the cloud approaching the structure on the right. Take note of the operational limitations around a cloud. No closer than 2,000 feet horizontally to a cloud, no closer than 500 feet to a cloud from below, and no flying above a cloud. These limitations help pilots better identify hazards and yield right of way. In the example, a single engine airplane with a speed of 125 miles per hour will travel 183 feet per second. So, for 2,000 feet, that's roughly 10 seconds. <laughs> 